Hi, this is Jack and I'm Anna. We're with Owen Clinic. And Jack, why Christian counseling? Well, for me, I think it's about the anchor. It's about the sustainability of what we're doing. I mean, listen, I, I do reality therapy, uh, you know, cognitive behavioral therapy, solution focused therapy, existential therapy. There's a, uh, an array of different types of modalities that I use in counseling to help people that I think work best, uh, at least for, for my style of therapy that I do. But um, here's the thing is you could get that same thing down the street with the atheist counselor as well. And you would have temporary results because it works. The problem is, is when those storms of life come, right? Do you have enough anchor, right? Are you anchored or are you gonna be tossed and fro from the storm? And that's what I think Christian counseling does is it gives you that anchor. And in Matthew seven, Jesus tells a story about a storm comes and a guy built his house in the sand and a guy built his house on the rock. It's essentially the same house. This is kind of the modality. It's the same modality of counseling. But when the storms came, the guy who built his house on the sand, which is no foundation, he's done. His house is done. The guy who built his house on the rock, his house stood and, and it withstood the storm. That's what Christian counseling does, in my opinion, Anna, is it gives you a foundation and an anchor so that when life hits you, you're good. Yeah, I agree with that. And, you know, we're dealers in hope. Mm -hmm. All counselors are really but when you have a Christian perspective and you look at counseling through a biblical biblical perspective it's just full of hope as long as you're looking to the Lord and uh, th through the, the lens of the Lord there's no way to look at your situation without having hope you know the Bible reiterates all things are possible with God when you really embrace that philosophy and as Christian counselors, we embrace that philosophy. All things are possible with God. How can you not have hope? Yeah. And uh, also, you know, we like to pray with our clients if they want to pray. And and we've seen so many things happen uh, in people's lives. You know, is it the counseling? Is it the prayer? It's probably the combination. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, you know, in, in places like AA and certain rehabs, um, they don't necessarily uh, talk about spirituality in like a Christian Bible sense necessarily. It's just this higher power. It's this thing that's that's bigger than yourself. Um, and, and when you're living that way, you're always going to live better. And we believe that Christianity is the one true religion. And so not only are you um, doing things that are going to better your life down here, but you're doing things that are going to better your afterlife. And believe it or not, if you believe in religion or spirituality or God or the gods or whatever, listen, that's going to play into your the, the way you are in your mental health down here. Because if you believe in an afterlife, but you don't know what you believe about that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause more anxiety than anything down here. And I think that's one of the things that we do as Christian counselors is, is we, we understand that there's an, 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 uh, an eternal security that builds that, that peace that you can have down here. Um, and, and that's what, one thing that Christian counseling does is it takes you beyond um, your problems that you face every day down here. And when we're working in counseling on adjusting perspectives and reframing your perspective on a situation, um, we look at your self-talk and examine your self-talk and uh, try to work with you to reframe that self-talk. One of the easy ways to reframe your self-talk with Christian counseling is scripture. You know, if somebody can't think of a, a positive way to reframe a, a, the way that you're talking to yourself about a specific situation, scripture's there. And so, you know, I, I believe that's a really effective way to alter our our, our own self-talk. So. Yeah, and, and it's not, not everybody that comes in is a Christian, and not everybody that comes in wants to hear um, uh, the Bible or anything like that. And so we don't force that upon anybody, mm -hmm. but, but we do believe that... Uh, that your spiritual health is directly connected to your mental health. And so um, that's something that we do here. Um, we're available for you to talk about spiritual things and how, it, uh, how, how that plays into your mental health and your life down here and all the things that you struggle with. So um, if you're comfortable talking about that or you're not, we can help you either way. Come see us.